This is one of the Atlas Air classrooms where they're learning the 747. And it is huge and it is always full. They're just training so many people when we come in. I don't have any sim shots from day three. Uh, we did a bunch more engine failures on takeoff. We did an engine failure at altitude and programmed what's called the drift down. So say you're flying at 29,000 feet and your engine fails at 29,000 feet, it's really not an emergency, but the one thing you can't do usually is stay at 29,000 feet. So if you go to the FMS and there is actually an engine out option on the engine FMS, and I'll say 23,000 feet is what you can hold now. So you program in 23,000 feet, it starts a shallow 200 foot per minute uh, descent on the one engine you call ATC, let them know what's going on. And then depending on the situation, you might try and restart the engine. That was a big part of today, as well as doing CAT 2 and CAT 3 landings. CAT 3 being like 0-0, zero, zero. the plane lands itself on the runway. You see it as you touch, it's creepy. Tomorrow is our last day in the fixed base simulator, and then we get a day off on Saturday. And then we start in the full motion simulator, which is actually the same simulator, just they turn on the hydraulics that make it move, costs more, which is why we do the first five days, no motion, just to learn the procedures before we start.